Hi, it's Pam Daniels, and I'm going to give you some techniques on how to effectively cut foam core today. So this is foam core. I think this is 3 16 inch foam core. Um, and if you don't cut it uh, with a nice sharp blade, you're going to get raggedy edges like this. Um, the tools that are going to help you are a good blade. This is my favorite kind of blade, so any snap-off blade will do. Um, I personally like a straight blade more than I like an X-Acto, but that's a personal preference thing. Um, I have a tool for snapping off the blades, a, a technique for snapping off the blades, which I'm going to show you in a second. And then a nice straight edge. I prefer the cork back type because I think it grips the material better. Um, so that's what we're going to go over today. So the first thing you want to do is start with a nice, clean, sharp blade. So if you zoom in on the action, I have what I like to refer to as an Ulfa puck. I think it looks a little bit like a hockey puck. So um, what you do is slide open the door and you're gonna, if you look closely at the blade, I don't know if you can see that, there are little grooves between each, there are little uh, perforations almost between each segment of the blade. And what you can do is expose only one of those and then insert it into the thing. And I would either wear safety glasses or turn your head away and snap it off. And it stays safely inside the container Slide that closed and now you have a nice sharp blade with which to cut the foam core so that's key number one sharp blade then the second thing is not to do it all at once so if we want to make a nice clean cut here I'm just gonna lop off part of this I'm going to press down with the ruler with my hand and I'm going to drag the blade across just one stroke and I wasn't trying to cut all the way through with that first stroke but I'm going to do a second stroke and then I'm gonna go for it a third time. And you notice I'm also cutting on a cutting mat. I kind of assumed that at the beginning, I didn't mention that, but you can either use cardboard or you can, um, if you have a cutting mat handy of any type, that will work too. So see how we have a nice clean edge here? See how the raggedy edge and the clean edge. So that is the technique. So it's a one, two, three technique. You notice some things about how I was holding the ruler. See how my fingers are not <laughs> where I can cut them, it's sort of obvious, but worth mentioning. And then the other thing would be, let's say I wanna cut this bit right here. My hunch would not be to orient my body. Can you zoom mm. out a little bit? So my hunch would not be to orient my body um, in such a way that I'm awkward. It's sort of like drawing, what I would do is move the material so that again, I'm right-handed, I'm in a nice, convenient um, position for cutting it. So then I would do one, two, three, maybe even four. If it didn't, yep, there. Oop, one more. There we go. And again, super nice clean edge. That's how you cut foam core. There's some fun things you can do to um, Bend foam core. So for instance, I'm going to quickly score the foam core, which means to cut it, but not all the way through. So I'm going to do two cuts, but not three cuts. One, two, one, two. I'm just going to do one more example. One, two. Okay. And so with those simple cuts, do you see those score lines? Watch what happens now. You can create some bendability. So then you can do curvatures. That we're doing with cord, with um, foam core can be pretty effectively done with cardboard as well if, that, if that's what you have at your disposal. So the same techniques of cutting it in a one, two, three, um, sort of not trying to cut all the way through at once is a great technique and the scoring works pretty effectively too. So have fun and use what you got, people.